Which protein you choose depends on your current goal. A study published in the Journal of Science and Medicine and Sports found that 28 subjects consuming hydrolyzed whey protein after a 100 rep eccentric focused leg extension exercise experience faster muscle recovery compared to weight isolate and other placebos ultimately eccentric focus adds more damage to the muscle the way hydrostate group was able to regain performance just six hours later whilst it took the others more than 24 hours leucine is the most important bcaa in muscle protein synthesis and whey protein has 11 grams and the mass gain has only 8.3 grams Hydrolyzed whey protein is better for maintaining lean physique because it has no carbs and fat. The protein shakes are pre-broken down in production before consumption, making it easier to be absorbed by the body and prevents any allergic reaction. It is the highest degree of protein purification and it has no lactose reaction and helps with any carb restricted diets. The cons are it is not as palatable as you'd think so the taste is not the best and the price is slightly higher than other whey isolate proteins. Mass gainer is better if you find it hard to put on weight because it has the bulking calories required from 1000 to 1500 per serving. It works well as a post workout but the cons are 50% of the 100 grams per serving is protein and the rest are carbs and, and fat and it's not safe for lactose intolerance. Whey protein is chemically the better supplement with regards to protein. The best part is it is easily digestible and released into the bloodstream. Also, it is used for multiple body types, whereas mass gainer is only useful for athletes trying to bulk.